So this is Lords of Vegas. You can see we have Lords of Vegas, the base set, and up on the board. But what we don't have is Underworld. That's the expansion we want to make. Let me tell you a little bit about Underworld. It's got all sorts of things you might want to see in Las Vegas. It's got people that you can hire, mobsters, burlesque dancers, accountants. It's got events like the 4th of July parade and a blackjack tournament. It's got off-strip casinos. It's got all sorts of things that make your world more Las Vegas. It'll give you new ways to win, new things to do, and something else to spend all your money on. Some just get you points. Bingo tournament, burlesque review, they get you points in different ways, but they're nice and simple. You might just buy them because you have some extra money lying around, but then some are a little more deep. For example, accountant. Accountant lets you just raise the value of one die by one. That doesn't sound like a lot, but if you have a five and your opponent has a six in a casino, well now all of a sudden you've just caused a roll off for who gets to own it. Then there's a card like Blackmail. This card actually loses you points at the end of the game. This sounds like a terrible deal, but it gets you a lot of money over the course of the next 10 turns. And so you might be willing to make that trade if you're behind a little bit, you definitely wanna buy something next turn. Just wanna make the decision, okay, I can handle a little bit of point loss right now. Sure, take the deal, take the Blackmail. Then there's your luxury casinos. Your luxury casinos aren't even on the strip. They're just in your possession somewhere. And what they do is every time a card of their color comes up, you just get paid. Now the opposite of that card is Loan Shark. Loan Shark gets you a bunch of money up front, but every time a card of that color comes up, you pay the bank money. This seems like a great deal right away, but over time, well, you've dealt with Loan Sharks. You know what they're like. Then there's cards that affect gambling, which is my favorite part of Lords of Vegas. Crooked Dealer lets you re-roll a seven. Well, seven's the most common losing number when you gamble. So when you roll a seven, you get to roll it again. That's pretty cool. In the original design of Lords of Vegas, we had a lot of this stuff. We had underworld characters, mobsters, takeover attempts, things like that. And a lot of it just sort of fell away as we sort of got a 10,000 foot view of Vegas being built. But we really wanted to bring it back. And so that's why Lords of Vegas Underworld has just individual characters and events and casinos you can buy that aren't the big picture decisions, they're the things behind the scenes, things that make you really feel like a casino mogul. So that's Lords of Vegas. I hope you're gonna have fun playing it. Please back the campaign if you can. Thanks again. Underworld is an expansion for Lords of Vegas where you get to hire all sorts of characters you might see in lots of, lots of Vegas. <laughs> lots of Vegas, that's what we have. Um, sorry.